Hi guys! Welcome to a new video on my channel and today we are going to discuss bioactive tanks. Two years down the road, I think it is at least. I made this tank that my Crested Gecko is, is in two years ago. And I want to discuss the mistakes I made with it and how I'm going to fix them and how you can just don't make the mistakes I made. So let's get started. And no, he will not escape. He's in his little hide here and sleeping, so it's fine. The first thing I made a mistake with is I did not put the foam everywhere on the walls. In here, uh, there's a big... Here's the glass, there's the glass, and also on this side. And I don't think it looks nice that way. And some places the dirt has fallen off, so I kind of need to redo that anyways. So that gives me an excellent opportunity to fix that. An easy fix, and also it ties in with the mistake number two that I made. I didn't make enough vertical space in my opinion. I want to put more horizontal logs, sticks, for Ace to climb on to utilize this whole area that's not usable right now for him. And that is a waste of space. Third thing I think it is, is I did not quarantine the plants. Hear me out now. I didn't think it would be a big deal. I thought, no, it's, it will be fine. How bad can it be? Think Julia? Think it would be terrible. Awful. Horrendous. Everything this bad. Because I got pest snails in that way. And I hate it. Pest snails, they are tiny, they breed like crazy, they eat the plant root and the plant itself. Obviously they do some cleanup crewing, but not the ones that I care about. So a lot of the original plants in this tank is dead because of the pest snails, which sucks. So how can I fix this? The sad part is, I will have to do a whole new cleanup crew introduction. Uh, I will put a whole new cleanup crew in this, which is kind of sad because the ones, one I have is very established and very flourishing. They breed good and it's full of it. So I have to throw out all of the dirt, which is another mistake I made with the dirt. I will talk about it soon. I will throw out all of the dirt all the substrate. I will boil the leka in case there are eggs in the leka. Very important to do this. Uh, sadly, all the good bacteria in the leka will die and we will have to start the cycle all over again, but it's worth it in the end to get rid of the snails. I promise you. The snails, also made, the snails have made burrows in the... what do you call it? in the phone, which, how can I kill that and get rid of it? I don't want to scrape it all off. I'm gonna put boiling water from the tea kettle. And yes, boiling water, not just lukewarm, like somebody else did with their cork. I will use the tea kettle, make a lot of doses and pour it in this. Obviously Ace will not be in the enclosure while I do this because that would be animal abuse and kill him probably. Not gonna do that. He will be in a, a separate tank that time I do this. And I will do this for a week's time. Put boiling water on all of the foam, make sure everything is dead and sterilized before I restart the process. So a week's worth I will put boiling water on it twice a day to make sure that all snails are dead and the snails egg so they don't come back. For the plants I can obviously don't put boiling water on them because that will kill them. I'm gonna use hydrogen peroxide, take off all of the dirt, everything bare rooted, put hydrogen peroxide on it, that will kill the snails. I've done this before with orchids and it works very, very well. After that, they will be in quarantine during the week. I put water in it and redo the background. So there will be plenty of time 
to make sure that the plants are healthy and I will do that with the new plants that I'm going to put in as well. Now the fourth mistake I made, the soil itself. I, I just put coconut fiber, coconut queer, whatever you want to call it, as a substrate. Nothing else. That has made it into a compacted, hard, almost clay-like thing now two years later. Which obviously is not good. <laughs> so the way to fix this is again I'm gonna throw out the substrate anyways because of the snails and I will make an AVG mix myself. I have done tons of research on this the last half year <laughs> and I'm gonna go after Sepra Designs uh, recipe. I think it seems to do wonderfully and I don't want to I want to make everything myself so I know exactly what's in it. That will make I think that was one of the reasons why mono, much of the plants died because it would just suffocate the roots which is not good. So I will not just use coconut fiber as a substrate because that will kill your plants. I think that's all of the mistakes I made actually. I can't really come up with anything else I've done wrong with this. Those are the four mistakes I made that I can come up with right now at least. There's probably more but I can't remember it. So I will leave this as it is now. I have gone through the mistakes I made and how I will fix them and I have a strong feeling that this tank will be very long lasting after the fix up. I don't know which kind of plants I want to add to it more. Uh, I know that I want to move the spider plant and put it maybe up here because these are not as dependent on humid air as maybe some other plants. So that one will go up there plus it will hang nicely and I think that would look really really cute. Um, I don't know if I want to keep the pothos or not in here, to be honest, they just take up so much space and I want to have more ground coverage, you know? I know that I want to add ficus pumula, I finally have a plant of it that I have not killed because they are very hard to keep alive if they are not in a tank. I promise you this, they die so easily because they need so much water and high humidity. That's why you should only use it in tanks, and if you keep it alive as a houseplant, wow, you're a god. Really, you are a god. And um, so yeah, that's what I will do to fix the mistakes I made with this tank. I hope you enjoyed this video and have, you know, a look inside his enclosure, even though it's very out of frame. Oh, no, it's not zoomed in enough to see all the mistakes I made because it's a little bit embarrassing. That's all I have to say, I think. Uh, <laughs> so there you have it, guys. The four mistakes I made did with my first ever bioactive enclosure. How I will fix them and how you can avoid doing these mistakes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any question, comment down below so I will answer it for you. And till next one, bye!